Hi, welcome. I got 16 games behind me, all for my collection, all that can be played solo. Why did I do this? Well, number one, I don't have any friends. Number two, I like board games. Number three, why 16? Well, that's, that's all of the games in my collection that can be played solo. Actually, there's 17. Surprise! Okay, let's get started. This is Dinosaur Island. You're on an island with dinosaurs. Need I say more? Have you ever seen Jurassic Park? Do you want to live Jurassic Park? Frickin' A right you do, man. Also, I'm gonna not wear a shirt like Jeff Goldblum because <laughs> that dude's awesome. Next is Zombie Side Black Plague. Is the Black Plague what's causing the zombies? I don't freaking know, dude. But we're gonna go in, we're gonna kill all the baddies, we're gonna take all the loot. It's gonna be amazing. It's got minis. I'm probably gonna paint them. I hope I hope I do. Yeah, this box is heavy, dude. It's got some weight to it. All right, what's next? Oh, here we got Clank down here hiding. Get out of the way. Here we go. Clank, a deck building. Adventure. It's generic D&D stuff. There's a dungeon in baddies and you get loot, except this is a deck builder, so it should be fun. This is the bonus game, actually. It is run solo with an app. I forgot that. Here we go, Final Girl. It's an 80s horror movie trope, I think. Yeah, this box doesn't show you anything, so I'm gonna show you these ones. These just don't really show you anything either. I hope I have footage playing over this because these boxes don't tell you anything about this game. So in Final Girl, you're a lady. You're a girl that's being chased by a murderer and you don't want to get murdered. So you don't let them murder you. You actually murder them back. Yeah, I think you have to murder them to not get murdered. Wow, that's heavy. What else we got? Oh, we got Friday right here. This is a cute little deck builder. We call this the gateway game for solo gamers. Like everybody that gets into solo gaming has probably played this game. It's a pretty straightforward deck builder and it's awesome. Except that this little guy, Robinson Crusoe, he's the one that crash lands on your island he's an idiot and stupid and lazy what else under falling skies here we go why is the sky falling well it's full of aliens actually this game does have the sky fall on you well it's a giant mothership but yeah Reminds me of Independence Day, so that's cool. Here's Sagrada, finally a unique premise here. We are building stained glass windows. How cool is that? They're beautiful. This has dice that are different colors. I don't know anything about stained glass windows, so I should probably look something up about it. Oh, here we go, Robinson Crusoe, boom. This is Friday's big brother, a lot more complicated. There's worker placement, resource management, animals that are gonna try to eat you. All kinds of stuff. There's a volcano, I think. There's a bunch of scenarios. Really fun, really popular too. Here we go, choose your own adventure, House of Danger. Danger Will Robinson. This is based on a book. Actually, I wonder if I read the book, if that would spoil the game. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Here we go, Arkham Horror. Really looking forward to this one. You're an investigator, so it's very HP Lovecraft inspired and you, are trying to stop the demons from killing everybody or devouring the world. I don't really know what demons from HP Lovecraft do, but that's what these guys are trying to do, I guess. And you're gonna stop them with your handy dandy spyglass and revolver, I guess. Oh, we're gonna move on to the other side here. One deck dungeon. Okay, another dungeon crawl, generic D&D style game, but this one has dice in it. That's exactly what D&D is about, okay. So what's different about this? You place dice after rolling them instead of just rolling them. It's actually pretty fun. Tiny Epic Galaxies, yeah, you ever see the movie Dune? They should make a game about that. Well, until they do, we're gonna play this game. Yeah, you dominate the galaxy. Sounds fun, right? Mice and Mystics, okay, here we go. This game's kind of near and dear to my heart. I really like this game. It is an adventure RPG light, I guess you could call it. I like it because I like cute little mice that wield buttons for shields and <laughs> it's just cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Also, I think this is probably the first board game I ever bought and the first game that I ever painted the miniatures for. Yeah, this game got me into painting minis, so that's cool, right? Moving right along, here we go. We got Unlock. Haunted House, nothing more to say about that. Unlock is like a series of, what are they? What are these things called? Escape rooms, yeah. Unlock the door, get out of the room, you get it. But this one is Star Wars themed, how cool is that? So cool I didn't even open it yet because I'm so excited. Or I forgot that I had it because it was stashed in our shelves. And here we go, Wingspan, okay, this one's a big deal. Not because it's got amazing art, and super high quality components, but because the gameplay is actually super good. It's a tableau builder, question mark? An engine builder, question mark? I don't know, I don't play really complex games. If you would even call this a complex game, I don't know, but it's really beautiful and it's really highly regarded, so I'm really looking forward to playing that. And we got one more here, this big guy in the back. Boom, okay, let my nerd flag fly here. Look at the size of this game. It's freaking huge, dude. Lord of the Rings, it is like 
Lord of the Rings, I guess. I don't, I have to, know. I've never played it, so. But I'm playing all the games in my collection. Can I say that this one I'm probably least looking forward to? Every video I watch about it just doesn't seem that fun. But I am gonna play it, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, that's all my games, dude. All the ones that you can play solo behind me. I'm gonna play them, and then I'm probably gonna review them. Like this, or maybe better. Yeah, better probably, if you're still watching this. Kudos to you, good job. If you actually play solo games, or if you've ever played a solo game that I don't have, let me know, I'll tell my wife, we'll go buy it, and say it's for the channel. Yeah, okay. Well anyways, that's it, thanks. Okay, bye.